Dear friends, welcome to my third episode of my World Travel Stories and today we're going to focus on Antarctica. It's a very rare place for people to go even though it is on the bucket list of many people but to get to Antarctica is a huge challenge. Most commonly used route is from Ushuaia which is south of Argentina. Generally there are cruise ships uh, which are Antarctic expeditions which uh, take you to Antarctica and it's generally around 11 to 12 days. It costs you about $4,000. But for me, my biggest challenge was uh, going through the Drake Passage. You know, Drake Passage is one of the most treacherous voyages that you can ever think of. The wind can be minimum at least 75 kilometers an hour. And the waves, they say, can go up to 60 feet and the ship will be tossed up and down and with my sore back and not doing well on seas. I tried my best to avoid this journey. But the Lord had put in my heart to go to Antarctica and many people said, what will you do there? And it's such an expensive trip and not knowing what to do, but I just wanted to be obedient. So I started to research on the internet to see if there was any way that I could avoid traveling on the ship to Antarctica and instead go on a flight. And I came across a company called Victory Adventures Expeditions and they were offering a one day trip to Antarctica from Punta Arenas, which is in the southernmost tip of Chile in South America. As I wrote to them, Captain Ben Garrett wrote back to me and I was uh, excited to share my vision to travel to every country in the world that God had given me. And uh, I want to share my message of hope through my testimony and my music. And Ben replied back saying, Benny, my daughter has been through YWAM and I'm a Christian and I want to do my best to make sure that you will be able to travel to Antarctica and also play your music there and share your testimony. And uh, I asked the cost and he said the entire cost from Punta Arenas to Antarctica would cost you uh, $2,900. And then he says, I want to give you a discount of $500 because every time I sell a ticket, I get $500. And this time I want to give that to you as a blessing. What a great note to start. So I was all excited for my trip to Antarctica. It's a very expensive trip. So I went on Facebook and I put a post asking people, what is a reasonable way for me to get warm clothes and what all should I carry with me in order for my trip to Antarctica and people suggested and I went and bought everything that I can because I wanted to save as much money as possible. I was all set and you can see this uh, map that I put forth. I went from Bangalore to Paris on Air France and it took 10 hours and 50 minutes. From Paris, I went again on Air France to Atlanta. The entire journey took 9 hours and 55 minutes. And from Atlanta to Santiago, I went on Delta Airlines and the journey took 9 hours and 15 minutes. And then from Santiago to Punta Arenas, I went on Sky Air and the journey took 3 hours and 25 minutes. And from Punta Arenas to King George Island, it took 3 hours by a private airline, DAP. Altogether, I spent 36 hours and 25 minutes just on flying time across 5 continents. So I arrived in Punta Arenas on the 2nd of December at 2.25 p.m. and Pastor Alistair Morrison, the pastor of the Anglican Church, came to pick me up and he took me to his house. It was already so cold and so windy and I was really wondering how will I really survive in Antarctica when I'm still struggling here in Punta Arenas. And generally they tell us to keep five days in Punta Arenas because Based on the weather in Antarctica, every morning they decide whether they will take off or no. Because it's illegal for a tourist to stay in Antarctica. And uh, every morning at 5 o'clock we report. And they told that the previous flight, they waited for five days. And all the five days the weather was bad. And so they had to cancel the trip. And here, on one side, I'm thinking, wow, I wish it cancels because I cannot really bear this weather. It is too cold. I have arthritis and I'm an asthmatic patient and I'm just like, I, I don't think I can. 
So I went at six o'clock in the evening to the DAP office, and that's the private airline that takes us from Punta Arenas to Antarctica. Carlos Para was giving the briefing and uh, the pre-flight instructions, and and I was sitting there and listening. And uh, I said, "My goodness, I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can make it." And then I went to Carlos later on after everyone left, and I said, "Carlos." Is there any way for me to just stay on the base and not go anywhere? He says, "No, Benny, you cannot stay on the base. You can only hop from one base to the other base. You can only watch things, but you cannot be in the base. It's illegal." So I told Carlos, "You know, I I don't think I can make it. It's just too cold." Then Carlos told me, "Benny, there are many people like you who come." to this point and then they feel like quitting but i'll tell you you can make it there are so many people who have made it you can make it those encouraging words gave me the strength to go back home and i don't think i slept through the night i was anxious excited afraid um struggling to understand how will i really survive in antarctica So I just prayed and prayed and prayed, and I said, Lord Jesus, please do a miracle with the weather there, and uh, you know the weather can. An average temperature there is between minus 10 to minus 16 in Antarctica, but in King George Island it's much more better, actually, probably minus five or minus three. But the wind is the tough factor. You know, Antarctica is the windiest place on planet Earth. and the wind is very very strong and uh, they say it can go up to even 300 km an hour and uh, so i was just like god how will i really make it there so at 5 o'clock in the morning we, i reported at the airport on the 3rd of december and hoping that the flight will not take off honestly i was not ready and uh, there were uh, uh, three people from ukraine two people from holland and myself we were six people and it was an eight seater plane and uh, they told us that the weather was good because they have to make a decision when they take off even coming back everything has to be programmed and planned well so we took off at 6 am in the morning from punta arenas airport in chile on our way to king george island in antarctica and we were all excited so everyone started to introduce themselves and the ukrainian uh, uh people there they were an entire family and uh, they owned uh, many showrooms and so wealthy people and then came uh, the dutch couple who were retired and so they saved up their money to travel and then they asked me what do you do so i told them that i am a musician as well as a missionary and they all laughed at me they said what are you doing here this is not a place for you to be and uh, uh they they made fun of me but it's okay and uh, we journeyed on we got long well and then we landed at 9 o'clock in antarctica and uh, you know just before landing is when they clear the snow so that the plane could land so that's that's how antarctica is and antarctica is very very unpredictable too You know, when I landed in Antarctica, I had this warm clothing that I took from India, and generally there to rent this orange, uh, thick insulated uh, uh, jacket and the pant cost you around one hundred and fifty dollars to rent. And I wanted to save money as much as possible, so I didn't. And uh, so everybody um, rented that, but I thought I could manage the cold. and so the guy he felt uh, compassionate on me and he says don't worry you don't have to pay you just uh, take this one so i wore it and i'll tell you if it was even 300 dollars i would have spent it because it was so cold and uh, started to take us from one base to the other base we saw things and amazing things we got to see and incredible god's beauty and uh, One of the interesting things is that you know uh, I had to wear uh, dark glasses uh, and uh, generally we think that 
only when it is hot and sunny outside we wear sunglasses and uh, here everything is so white that you can even go blind you know antarctica 6 months is darkness and 6 months during the summer is light day and night there's only light there the guy told us you know the weather is so amazing the wind is so calm he says this is a miracle and uh, he said let's get on the zodiac boat and let's journey to see some of the glaciers and it was amazing in fact he said i don't even remember when was the last time i took a team on a zodiac boat because the wind is so strong in antarctica but honestly it was just so beautiful the weather was so calm and god did a miracle and we went to see the glaciers and uh, he told us to hold on uh, to the to the railing there on the zodiac boat he said if anyone falls into that water they don't even have time to turn around and come because you will be dead the water is so cold on our way back suddenly i met this man who was on the snowmobile and uh, he looked at me and he said hey you're benny prasad i said how do you know me he said well i am the commander of this air base in antarctica and his name was carlos medina diaz and uh, he said well you're going to perform at the lunch time uh, for us and we are all looking forward for that so during the lunch break i did a co- mini concert and i shared my testimony to all the geologists the scientists and the cooks and others who were there for that event this is a short glimpse of me playing shout to the lord in antarctica you know the one who was touched the most who was in tears was the cook and he said it's such a lonely place here and it's very tough to survive in antarctica thank you for coming and sharing your music and your testimony he said it really encouraged me and brought me closer to god and you know god had a plan to take me all the way to antarctica to encourage one individual and as i told you antarctica is so unpredictable and uh and around 2:30 suddenly it started to snow and uh the guy told us come on guys rush to the plane rush because you guys have to take off and he said this is the longest i've had a team for that is 6 hours he says generally between 3 to 4 hours is what a team would uh, get Uh, because of the weather so we rushed into the plane at 3 uh, o'clock we took off from the base and uh, we started to journey on to punta arenas and this time i had my smile and we all started to discuss and so i told the dutch couple you know what do you think about this trip uh, don't you think that uh, it was a miracle to have the weather so beautiful and so calm and you know the dutch couple told me that is because of your prayers that you had with jesus that is what made a difference in this you know friends there are times people might mock your faith there are times people might make fun of you and i again they are not doing it in a wrong way might be they are ignorant about that but i'll tell you hold on to your faith hold on to your prayers because there will be a season when the same people will come and look up to the god that you serve and uh, they would even ask you for prayers we landed at 6:30 pm that evening in punta arenas and god did such an amazing miracle in my life to take me all the way to antarctica and to perform and to share my testimony and to experience the beauty of god in antarctica and uh, then come back to india from there on so dear friends you know god can do amazing incredible things you know at one point i wanted to quit when it was so cold as humans you know our our circumstances our instincts or our physical strength 
would lead us to a certain point. Sometimes our ambitions and our dreams and our goals can be quite high compared to what our body can handle. But I'll tell you, when God gets involved in our lives, when you have the right people to encourage you, just like what happened to me when Carlos came and encouraged me that don't give up, don't quit. You know, that was enough for me to move forward. You need people like that in your life. Might be some of you are at the crossroads of your life and you have tried everything possible with your own strength and you feel like quitting. You feel like, well, there's nothing there, nothing left. Everything that I can, I did just like me. I, I carried all the warm clothes, but already I was feeling so cold in Punta Arenas and I wanted to quit. In fact, when I went to the airport, I even went with, uh, a, with, a, with a mind hoping that the plane will get cancelled. But you see, God was so good. He gave me the strength and He gave me the courage to face the cold which was dangerous for me. And God can really help you, carry you through. And I pray that God will bring someone like Carlos into your life that will encourage you and will strengthen you. And I know that one day you will have incredible testimonies to share, just like my story of Antarctica. Now, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do go to youtube.com slash Benny Prasad. Also, there's a bell icon there. Please click on that bell icon so that every time I put a video, you will be able to get a notification. Do go and watch my other stories too on how I made it to Pakistan and also my trip to Latvia, which was my first international concert tour. Please do share these stories to your friends and families so that they will be encouraged, enriched, and they will be a blessing to others. God bless you all.